the kids had this great idea to wake up early in the morning and decorate for the beautiful one. It's coming along nicely, Lily. Mom hasn't woke up yet. I like your little happy birthday crown. All right, we finished decorating. It's time to go do chores. I think she's gonna feel very, very special. You see, it's a very special day for her. It's her, and I love to tell people this when they're talking to her in town. They're always telling her how great she looks and how energetic she seems. And I love to say, you know she's turning 40. To see their looks, she looks absolutely amazing. There's a reason I call her the beautiful one. <laughs> All right, what we wanna do this morning is actually finish Beauty's cucumber trellises as a birthday gift. But we got a ton of chores to do. We just need to cut these down, maybe to about right there, and attach, attach these to the frame. What'd you get done while I was up there? The pigs, and I, l I checked out, the, I looked at the bird hands, made sure they had food and water. They did. Okay, good job. And what about these chicks here? They've got food and water, too. Yesterday or the day before? The lamps are on. I said them yesterday. Yeah, okay. All that. You've got to do the ices. I've got to move the crop chickens. Then we'll meet back and put her cucumber trellis ices? together. Didn't you just ices, go do that? sorry. Um, sea monsters. Oh. A little overwhelmed. It's six after, milking at nine. I wanna get this cucumber trellis done, but things gotta get done on this farm. I gotta move these crop garden chickens over so we can begin softening this soil with silage tarp for bed preparation this weekend. The chickens have done a good job in here. They've fertilized it. We need to prep this, so let's move them over here into our cover crop. Look. Clover, peas, rye. Wow, that took just 10 minutes. Yes, that means we have 40 minutes to work on Mama's cucumbers. Something to attach these things too. You nails. No you nails over where my nails are. So my other idea, if we have them, this looks like this would be where I would keep, uh, oh, wait, there we go. That'll work, forgot about that. EMT straps, that's perfect. All right, what we're gonna try to do here, she wants it attached to the outside. Uh, I'm thinking, where do we want to cut it? Probably about right here, we're gonna need to cut it, especially if we're putting it on the outside to get it out of our way. Could you get me your sawzall with your wood blade? Sure. And a metal blade for that matter, because we're gonna need to make another cattle panel. <laughs> that cilantro there smells delicious. You want me to do that part? I got it. Okay, do another one. Good idea, John, to give yourself a platform over the raised bed. Jonah, will you put one at the bottom and then right here at the middle too? Let's measure what these are and cut our other ones. 32 and a half, all right. All right, we got our trellises cut. Oh boy, I could have done a bit better of a job there. Guests, Latoya and Garrison. Hold this for me, Garrison. Sure. You never know what you're gonna do around here, buddy. I gotta make this look better. So, you done? Good job, it looks really good. What time is it? Oh, we got seven minutes left. I think we can do it. I guess you could, you could either hold it or put it on the inside for now. I'm literally out of screws. Oh. Josiah! Josiah! 
Did he go get you some screws? Who knows? Well, they go find the screws. That's enough. Well, shoot. I was hoping we could do this, but we have to wait on the screws. Yeah, there went our <laughs> schedule. <laughs> it's already five after. You didn't find the bucket? 9.06. I know, we're late. It's late. Could you uh, Let's get more milk. go start getting the cows while I finish this? Sure. What do you think of these, Rebecca? It looks great. Okay. I really, really like it. Good. Wait for the... It, is it the right height? Yeah, I think it is. Put them on the outside yeah. like you yes, requested? I wanted them on the outside. They can get to them easy. Now let's see if it works. It they look real good. Rebecca, this video, this message is for you. What are you working on this morning, Rebecca? I need to take my plants out of the greenhouse uh -huh. and water them. So all these, like, I came in and all the plants were like that and I was like, I've ruined the plants! Oh, the first this strawberry. is the first straw. Two of them. Awesome, did you wash them off? Yes, yeah. did. Thanks. Mmm, so good. Mm. We all decided to give it to you. Thank you. Let me have a hug. You think Gideon do it too? Uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yes. He did. Hey, Over the last year and a half, you had an absolute mega health crisis. You didn't feel well. I mean, that's that's too light. That's too light. You just felt terrible. What are you doing here, Rebecca? I'm just taking them out because it's too hot in the greenhouse mm -hmm. to leave them, and then it also hardens them off. Hardens them off. Okay. So that when we plant them, they don't freak out. Rebecca, you grew those plants. I know, isn't that exciting? That, you look excited. It's exciting. So, this time last year, yeah. you were not planting those plants. I did plant some last year, but it, I was not as, as successful, I think. No, so this time last year, how did you feel? I did not feel as good as I feel now. I felt a lot anxiety and tired and digestively not well. So yeah, I felt a lot better. Mm -hmm. But instead of just resolving to maybe this chronic illness, just settling into it, because it was sort of a mystery, you didn't do that. Even though some doctors couldn't even help you, some really smart people couldn't even help you. You didn't give up. You didn't let that be a normal, kind of like a normal person would have done. You didn't do that. You fought back. What's she doing? Uh, just coming to use the internet. <laughs> oh, so what's today? 40 years ago, you were in a lot of pain. No, not till 11 a.m. Yeah. At church. 11 a.m. I know, Lily asked me what time I was born. I was 1140. like, it was a, yeah. I was like, a, Eight o'clock, so yep. we got 12 hours. So you were born at 11.40 no, at church. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first contraction, 11.20. And then? 11.40, 12 o'clock, I said, oh no, this is oh, it. Oh no, was it Mother's Day? No, it was it the was week the before. It was the week before Mother's Day. And um, you were born at 8.40. 8.40. And I went to the hospital at 5.30. <laughs> and boy, I just made it. <laughs> she just made it. And what was Bruce doing there, doing there in all this? Uh, I don't know, probably having a cup of coffee. <laughs> How old's grandma? 47. 40, thank 47. you. 47. <laughs> Maybe 49. <laughs> She's 49. You weren't going to accept that. And for you that meant gobs of research. Tons of professionals. Countless amounts of tests. And how many diet changes did we go through? to begin trying to heal you through food. You're back at this this afternoon. Great. How much do you love those plants? I love them so much. Because I went to a plant sale this weekend and each one of these plants would be three to four to five dollars depending on. You're talking about a lot of dineros right there. I know, man. This will give us pumpkins, which will be saving dollar bills. And this will give us tomatoes and cauliflower. But then some of this stuff are just flowers. Like that whole thing is flowers. Over there is flowers. You know they're hoping for the dollar bill song. Dollar! <laughs> dollar bills! Dollar, dollar, dollar. Is that bills. your mic too? It's my mic. I had to turn it off. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't want to sing into that thing. I don't want to sing into that. So some of this will go in my raised beds. Okay. Then in the middle garden between the walkway and the grass, okay. that's where a lot of like right. this will go, this will go, um, that will go. Okay. I want to plant some pumpkins in there too, so. All right, well, we're going to make it happen for you. And now you've landed on this really intense diet, especially at first, the GAPS diet. And it's amazing to see how it's changed you, even just in your taste for food. One, you never drink a lot of broth. Now you drink, insist on broth at every single meal. You never ate yogurt. Well, you did. You would eat, you would hold your nose and you would eat one scoop of yogurt and gag the entire time. Now you're eating gobs of yogurt. You're eating avocado. It makes me wonder what we, I don't even have to wonder what you would do if I told you, hey Rebecca, really the only way that you're gonna be healed is to eat ripe bananas. Do you like bananas? No. <laughs> she, she, she would probably do that. If you were to eat a banana, what would happen? I mean, I would survive, but it would be gross. <laughs> Show me your face if you had to eat one. <laughs> no, no, she would not probably do it. She would even eat. Bananas. Why don't you like bananas? They just are gross. It's one thing to inspire people through a polished Instagram or YouTube videos, but it's a whole nother thing to inspire someone who lives with you 24 seven and is actually with you during that time. Sees you're good, bad, and ugly. That's me. I've been totally inspired by the sacrifices, by the commitment you've made, by the pushing on in, even in moments of doubt, to keep on moving forward, even when moments that we should doubt, or you should doubt, you just kept going, when, even when there was no hope, you just kept going. And now you inspire me as somebody who's been be with you all the time, just to be a better person, to always improve myself, to work on myself, that self-care is all right, that it's okay, it's that, Airplane analogy, you gotta put the oxygen mask on yourself before you can help others, and that's you. You've taken such great good care of yourself and have such a commitment that now, that is inspiring me to do the same. Right. What are you making, Beauty? I am making cake. It's supposed to have fruit in it, but I don't know if I'm gonna put fruit in it. I might put fruit on like, the top. It's called yellow cake? Well, it's called strawberry cake. But you're putting a lemon. But it, it has lemon in it. So oh, okay. Then we'll put the butter over the top of it. So then I'll spread this butter over it. It's cultured cream whipped with honey and vanilla. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be amazing. And then we have strawberries to put on top okay. of it. Lettuce from our farm. Sausage and bacon from our Joanna, farm. Did you, get, did you get a salad? Yes. Mm. You want dressing? No. This guy's pizza is looking delicious. That's good. You've had the pizza? Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. Oh. Doing the dishes. Yeah, I am. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Mama. Happy birthday to you. Woo! That was not hard. What did you wish for? Uh, 45 more. 85, huh? Or 50. <laughs> I'll take 60. 100, okay. I'm not even halfway there, so.
Wait, this is your birthday present? Apparently. Who's that from? Me. You gave her Royal? Yeah. How nice. I don't think Royal has any complaints. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's a headband. Thank you. Where'd you get that? Uh, outside. <laughs> Under grass. If I help you. Uh, oh, that's real. That actually got that? squished in the wrapping paper. Oh, okay. Ah! I, Did I, you know I, about that? It was such an accident. It's just a it's a shelf for your greenhouse. Oh, good. You can start your muscles. Yeah. Thank you, Jonah. Oh, that's just perfect. what I wanted. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is what I needed yes, yesterday. Show them your red neck. So that's just in time. It is a notepad that says be happy and I can keep this in my purse and then when I need to write something down, I can write something down thanks to you. Thank you. Lily. Oh. Aww. Some. Magnet. One more from me. I wrapped it fancy. Oh look at this. Look at this purse that I ordered for myself. <laughs> that you picked out for yourself. I ordered. It out. I ordered it. Nice. I liked it because it can hold a water bottle. Can you have your old purse? Can you? What? To give to Grandma? Sure. From Josiah. Dear Mama, you are the best mom. I hope you have a good birthday. I hope you have a good time. Thank you, Josiah. Hey, you guys want to do the blessings? Yeah, yeah. Bless the birthday it. person. I want you to go first, okay? Okay. Bless your mama. Uh, I want to eat chicken. I want to be around. I'm fun to be around. Oh. Got two necklaces. My dad. Can you get the necklace, this necklace to me? No, no me. <laughs> so no, me. Okay, hold on. I'm apparently not allowed to have more of one of anything. Mama's a good mom. Aww. And she's fun to play with. And she cleans up the house for me. And I clean up the house? Yep. Aww. She's a good mom. She buys all the stuff. For us, she. Well, UPS buys us toy UPS does. UPS does. Is that who really buys the stuff? UPS. I wish UPS was paying for all that. Whoa. And she's a good mom. She's fun to re be around. She's a good mom. She buys us all the stuff we need. <laughs> Mm, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what that pickle go? She takes care of us when we're sick. One thing I think about is that she's a helper. She's ready to help all of you, but us too. She's a helper. Thanks, Mom. Welcome. <laughs> Becky was trying to go to school. When she was two years old, she wanted to go with her sister. She'd cry. We had to hold her back. She was a good student. Mm, yeah. Still is. Yeah, I guess I still love to read and yeah. learn. And obey the rules. I do like to obey the rules. I've seen all the hard work you've put in. You've inspired me to be a better person. You've inspired tens of thousands of people to be a better person and to do something about their health and for a very good reason. For that, I bless you and I thank you and I love you. And I say that on behalf of... <laughs> I only have one more sentence. I'm feeling I'm, I'm feeling it for the, for you guys for now for, for now for the audience I'm feeling because you've 
Rebecca, you've impacted so many people. The, the, these people watching, you, you, you've done something so big that I don't even think you can imagine it, and you're too humble to even consider it. Because you're such a normal person. You're exactly who you are in person, but who you are in camera. And I'm so thankful for you. And this audience is very thankful for you that we can just not express it enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Open them. Yeah. Oh, you guys did a good job. Thank you. I did that, Mama. You did that. Thank you. Mama, is you're the five of it. Is what? Is, is this too low? No, it's not too low. It's perfect. <sighs> Thank you. Got your safety first glasses on. No, I just wear them. Hey, I don't Papa. lose them. Hey, Papa, get out of here. I lost them twice. Put it on here. You guys want me to get on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, can you handle the big boy? Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 We're a bunch of old people. Slightly terrifying. Hand you stuff, because I don't know where it goes, but I can hand it to you. This is coming alive, Mom's Herb Garden. Can I are these in are these in the spot? Yeah. Rebecca's birthday. Woo! And yes, we are in a hotel room. That's right. Happy birthday. Is that not the best birthday gift you could ever get? So good. Slept 10 hours last night. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Ten hours straight, no interruptions. Did you wake up? Yeah. So how old are you today? Twenty-seven. Mhm. Mm hey kids, guess how my old mom is. Twenty-seven. <laughs> no, twenty-eight. Oh, Gideon, come get in the I'm hug. Hung. Look at Gideon's face. He's running. <laughs> Don't mess out, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for making Aww. my birthday special. What's it feel like to be 37? You feel like you've grown up yet? It feels um, it feels good. Yeah, it feels like I've grown up. A little bit. Wow, good job, Mama. This is your last gift. 